her business and she was talking about her ideal client and it's really easy when you're working on building your business to um, or even like like even giving advice to other people because often we give bad advice to good people and we send them off on an inspirational track that feels good but doesn't necessarily like make an impact or monetize so um, so I want to talk to you about your ideal client I want to talk to you about how do you know if you're speaking to the right ideal client or if you are like um, you know just like not being able to get traction in your business because you're speaking to too general of an audience so whether you're in network marketing whether you are a coach whether you are like even a doctor um, whether you are um, you know in any field like selling a product like even for like bathing suits right whatever whatever you actually sell it's important to be able to niche out like who your ideal client is so for instance when I started Heartcore, I was for all women and now I'm for women and men but we still have a huge group of women because I started my company as all women but when I started in all women I started women who wanted to grow businesses that were spiritual so that's like bringing it down even closer to an ideal client but the mistake that I made at the beginning and the reason why it took some time for me to get traction or it was more challenging to make offers that maybe didn't stick or that people that um, wanted to possibly buy from me couldn't figure out like I like you Shanda I know I I know I want me see if you've ever heard this I know that I want what it is that you have but right now is not really quite the right timing that is a, that is um, a, a direct feedback for you on the fact that whatever it is you're offering isn't languaged, languaged in a way that creates urgency. So how do you get the language? Well, everybody thinks, well, I go to, you know, I go to branding or I go to a copywriter. Well, even a great copywriter can completely mess up your work if you're not clear. Because at the end of the day, you are the master, you are the leader, you are the person that they're trying to write copy out of your head to your client they're trying to match your voice they're trying to match what it is that you say your your ideal client wants so look at this hack I said to what I said to my friend and my client yesterday I said take like and this only applies if you've ever worked with someone before right so um, if you haven't I'll tell you what to do but if you if you've worked with someone before or a few people before you, you want to stop and go who have you ever worked with that you really resonated with. Like, they lit you up, and when you talk to them, your best self shows up. Do you know what I mean? Like, your best, have you ever like worked with someone like that, where it's like, you, you speak to this person, and I don't know what happens, it's like the heavens open up, and whatever comes out of your mouth is just like, you're almost having an outer body experience when you're talking to them. Well, some people think that those moments happen just esoterically but they actually happen with connections that happen in your life when you have a connection whether you could be speaking at an event and like the audience has a vibration um, or the like the client or the person or the coach that you're coaching with even maybe someone you're mentoring with has a vibration and when you connect with them like it creates magic it's like it's just like the heavens open up and you have the outer body experience so instead of just giving your power away and saying oh this is like an esoteric moment you can actually recreate that and what you do is you go and just say three people that you've ever worked with that you absolutely like love like when you work with them you your best self shows up write down those three people's names right now unless you're driving then what you want to do is you want to actually write down what are the characteristics of these people so like for me if I think about two people I can even just think about like when I remember when I started my business and um, I was going 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 working with the general population of women and truly it was like nothing was happening fast I made two thousand dollars profit my first year which just think about that two thousand dollars stretched over an entire year it's like that's no money like no money it's amazing what we'll do uh, it's amazing how things do come together to support your dreams so it's like you know it's like the perfect connections do come together but like honestly I should have been like in a homeless shelter at that point to be quite honest because I only made two thousand dollars but I can tell you why 
I opened up to all women who were spiritual and wanted to do business. And that's just a huge net of people. And let's be honest, not all women who are spiritual that want to do business are the right women for me to work with. So, um, and if you're just tuning in, I do not just work with women anymore. I just think that's important to say, because what we're talking about is so important that you know who your ideal client is. And so when I shifted and I realized what I was doing, I actually couldn't at the time even think of like clients that really lit me up because I was still figuring out what I wanted to do. So I took coaches that I had mentored with and I wrote down the coaches that I'd mentored with and like my favorite friend that lit me up, that like really tapped out the best version of me. And I wrote down all their characteristics. But if you've got clients, do this with clients because that's even better. And I wrote down all their characteristics. And so I'm thinking about two right now. And and they're both bold. They're both um, they're both honest. They both are really pathetic. Like they really like when you speak to them, they don't just believe in God. They don't just, you know how people can sometimes preach that? They're prophetic. You know what I mean? Like when they speak, like t seriously, that it's like you know that, that there is a God. Like so this is the characteristics of two women that I'm thinking of that when I work with them, I, I just, it's like the best strategies show up. You know, like um, yesterday I was talking to one of them and she was actually coaching me. But yet she was, you know, having breakthrough moments after breakthrough moments as well. Like we just fit really well. So it's on both sides. It's like you just fit really well. And so I want you to identify what are those characteristics. So now if I think about these two women, they're bold, they're honest, they're prophetic. They're also like both a little unlovable. I know that sounds really weird, but like meaning that they have history that um, makes them a little unlovable. You know what I mean? Like, it's like they have, they have quirks about them that are, are highly misunderstood. And I've been able to get through their walls and like be able to really like, so I guess it's like, I, I really, um, I can just like, I can connect with them. Right. And so, so those are the characteristics. So now you can see why this is so important. Now, if I go, let's say, build an audience of people, of buyers, right? Maybe if I do a list build, because you have to figure out your traffic. I mean, traffic is the number one thing you have to figure out before you ever figure out what it is that you're going to sell. People do that totally backwards. So if I'm going to go to figure out my traffic first, if I think about bold, honest, prophetic, and a little unlovable, meaning that they've got some walls, um, they've got some you know, defenses, but they're incredibly connected women that love deeply and they're hugely generous. Both of them are hugely generous, right? And so when you get an offer from them, it's like you get, you get the world, okay? So, so um, now if I go write, write copy or do videos or do an online show, which is something we teach our clients to do, to be able to build an audience, a really warm targeted audience really quickly, then like if I'm titling something or headlining it, I don't say things like, um, just entrepreneurs, right? Like I say things like in taglines, like you're bold or you're driven, um, uh, highly misunderstood. Um, you know that you have a calling bigger than, than somebody else's, you know, negative talk. Um, you know, cause these women are unstoppable, right? Uh, you know that against all odds, you're going to make it no matter what, but if you had a better plan, you could execute it faster. Do you see how like, I'm using words that speak to just those characteristics and that, but if you, if I don't have those characteristics written down or even in front of me, like it's good to write those characteristics down. So if you're actually in our PACE program at Marketing Mastery, you know, 1% club, it's good to take those characteristics and write them down and put them in a frame. And every time you go to write anything, do any video, make sure you're hooking with the characteristics that would be interested in that hook. So for instance, I would never say, even though all my people are spiritual, I would never use the word goddess um, because they actually don't like, not that some of them might say that to themselves, but like, that's not the part that I'm connecting with, with them. Right? Like, so I could have clients that use the word goddess with the, like they refer to themselves as a goddess, but the part 
Um, they don't all do that, right? Like that, that's, a, that's a super niche group of people in my group. <clears throat> what they all have in common is that all of my clients are bold, all of them. They're all bold, they're all driven, they're all unstoppable. They're all typically like, like the strongest or one of the strongest people in their families. They're, um, they're the ones that get, they, they hold a lot. They, they, they like do a lot. They hold a lot. They, um, they are a little misunderstood because they're so driven and bold that they do have people who just adore them and people who really don't. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, so they, if you were to look at my client base, <clears throat> they are those people. Excuse me. I'm going to drink my celery juice now. They are those people. So, but I could really get general. And when I get general, I attract the wrong people on the phone, the wrong people in our webinars, the wrong people in our events when I get general about who I'm speaking to. So I want to encourage you to do this exercise. I'm not going to pile a bunch more stuff on you on Coffee with Shanda this morning. I want you to get, like, if you believe me and you tune in, just take my coaching. Okay, just take it. Go make millions of dollars. Go make a huge impact. Be uber generous with it. And like pay it forward, like help other people succeed with you. Cause when you're succeeding, look down and find people who are not succeeding and pull them up intentionally, not like waiting for them to find you. Can you just, can we just have that agreement that you can have that ripple effect? Because often we get busy working on our stuff, like on what I'm teaching you now. And we don't stop to look around and see like, well, while we're starting to win, there's other people who need some advice to pull them up. Right. And so I believe that leaders never win on their own. Or if you just are focused on yourself and only helping the people who come find you, then honestly, you're playing a really small game. The big game of entrepreneurship and just supernatural growth is to be pulling people up intentionally, not just while they're not just while they're following you or while they're like like coming up and asking you. So that's my caveat to what I'm teaching today. So I want you to now go back and I want you to write three people that write out their characteristics that light you up, that bring out the best version of yourself. Then I want you to put it in a frame and I want you to put that frame, you know, go to Michael's, go to, you, you get online, order it on Amazon if you can't get out of your house or you're in a hospital bed, whatever. Like, like there's no reason why you can't do this today. Okay, resilience is critical for success. So go put it in a frame and every time you write, only write to those people and you're gonna have to edit yourself because you're gonna try you're going to try and like go broad in anything you do. You're going to try and go broad because if you go broad, then you're going to appeal to more people. Well, it works opposite in marketing. You appeal to less people because the people who are your, your ideal clients, they're like, you don't stand out to them. They don't get that you get them and they need to get that you get them like this by the words that you choose. And so if I speak to people who, or let's say, um, even if I talk into time management, I don't talk into time management like um, so you can work less. Because even though all of us would love to like free up more time, like I don't wanna work with the person that wants to work less. I wanna work with the person that's a bit of a workaholic and show them how to do it better and take off five months a year, like I do. You, you, like I wanna show, I want the, I want the person who's going to have the endurance to work through like the moments that they're struggling with anything new I teach them and be able to have the endurance because they're a bit of a workaholic to stay on that so that they master it much quicker than the person who takes four years to master it because they're so worried about their self-care. Now I'll tell you self-care, that's a whole nother coffee with Shanda <laughs> because self-care is, there's no reason why you have to give up self-care. But that is also a mindset that causes you to have to pull out time for self-care. It's actually a strategy that you do called flex time. So I'm not going to go into that right now. So the point that I'm trying to land is you need to land with your ideal client. Otherwise, you're going to have people who don't get as great of results with you. You're always going to have people who don't get the best. There's going to be all levels that get like extraordinary results, great results, good results and then poor results, but you want the poor results to be because they fell off whatever you were teaching them and it's on them, not because they're not your ideal client. Does that make sense? Can, do you feel like you could do this? Like, do you feel like you could take this and go do this 
frame the characteristics and then just do videos, write emails, do blogs directly to that ideal client. I'm telling you if you do, people are going, like you don't have to have a big audience to create an incredible stand in the world with your work. You can make millions, truly you can. You can make it by, and by the way, I'm not saying you're gonna make millions, I'm saying if you have the work ethic and you like have that desire, I'm giving you the belief that it's possible if you know who you're speaking to and stop speaking to the masses. So if you're the person that says I can be used for a lot of different people, I'm gonna say, great, so can I. <laughs> and do the exercise I taught you today and discipline yourself to just follow the coaching. And you're gonna find that you're gonna have a huge breakthrough in not only your money, but also on your movement and your mission. All right, you guys, please let me know what you liked about this Coffee with Shanda. Uh, share if you like it, that's how, I, that's how I measure if you like these coffees with Shanda. And then let me know, like, are you gonna do this? Like, is this something you're actually gonna do? Are you gonna frame it, are you gonna do it? Do you know who your people are? And let's together stand shoulder to shoulder and make a big difference in this world. Allow my work to impact your work so that we can impact more people and wake them up on this planet to have a better life in whatever area that you stand for. All right, if you're just joining, go back and watch this Coffee with Shanda. Critically important. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.